crimes did you commit during the war? I thought we weren't going to talk about that. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. You can't be prosecuted. So um, why not tell me? What, what crimes did you commit during the war? Well, they weren't crimes when I committed them. They, they, they only became crimes when we lost the war. Larry would like to see you, Nick. Can it wait? Why, what's up? You got the job. In Athens? Mm-hmm. But you didn't hear it from me, okay? Hear what? Congratulations. combination of eight wins or eight losses and the Sox win the Eastern Division. Now turning to basketball, last night in the Boston Garden it was the Celtics over the Rockets 108 to 105. A strong performance by Larry Bird who goes to the hoop on this pass. Nicky. Dad, if you always fall asleep during the news you'll never keep up with the world. I know, but if I stay awake for the news, I get so upset at what I hear, I can't sleep at night. I'll make some coffee. My grandson's birthday's coming up. Does he want a bicycle, Nicky? I don't know. He's a big boy, nine years old. The same age as I was when I left Greece. And I'm now the same age as mother was when she was killed. I got that job in Athens. But you promised Eleni. Didn't you tell me she made you promise that you would never go back? Nick? Yes, I promise. I want to know why they tortured her, why they killed her what it was like to suffer the way she did. Why do you want to know that? Because I can't think of anything else. Sometimes people say things before they're killed when they know they're going to die. I want to know what her last words were. Everything. Why now? All of a sudden, you... I told you, things are converging. You should forget these, these things. I tried. But there is this one thing that I can't forget, this wonderful legal invention called the statute of limitations. After a certain amount of time, you're absolved of all your crimes. You committed atrocities during the war. If you wait long enough then, as if by magic, you become innocent again. In Greece, you wait 30 years for innocence. 30 years are up. The murderers who are hiding in other countries are free to go back now. The very man responsible for my mother's death could be innocent now. And I sit here drinking coffee. Nikki, you have waited all this time for that? Thanks. No, 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 no. Nick, is that you? Nick? Nick! God, we thank you for these blessings. Dear Mother, I we Nick. Ah! 
Christ is risen. Indeed, he's risen. Does Father know that the war is over, Mana? Of course he knows. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. You said when the war was over, he'd write to us to tell us when he's coming. You said by Easter we get a letter. The bombs, they destroyed all the post offices. The ships that carry the letters across the sea were sunk. All these things, these things take time to rebuild. Hmm? Like our schoolhouse. It just takes time. Christ is risen, cousin. Father called me after you left the house today. Yeah, I thought he might. 
He thinks I have some influence over you, being your wife and all. Being the mother of your children. Don't give me that look. How am I supposed to understand everything? I don't want to argue with you. Why do you have to go back? We can work out everything together here. Here is not the problem. What are you going to do in Athens? What I normally do, I'm a reporter. There are stories in Greece. What kind of stories? All kinds. Yeah, and one of them is about former Civil War criminals returning after 30 yeah, years. I'm aware of that. Maybe they're all dead. Gosh, I hope not. And if they aren't, what are you going to do with these old men? I'm going to probe them a little bit, ask them a few questions. What if they don't answer? Then I'll rephrase the question. Nick, is it one of the requirements of being a bureau chief in Athens to carry a gun? Is it? It used to be in the study, then it disappeared. I'd like to know where it is. Is that how you're going to ask questions with a gun? No, that's right. You're a reporter. You don't have to answer questions. You only get to ask them. Nick, I know about your mother. I know what well, it must I be like. I don't think you do. Maybe I don't. But what about us? Do you want to ruin everything here over something that happened some 30 years ago in Greece? Some 30 years ago? Some? People don't get murdered at some point in time. It wasn't some to her. It was a specific year, month, day, hour, minute. It was a specific second when the trigger was pulled, and even then she was alive until a thousandth of a second later. The bullet ended her life. It wasn't some to her. Not some at all. Oh, there was England. There was Greece. Before there was America, there was Greece. Oh, and long before Greece was a monarchy. We were a democracy. What is another name for a democracy? Republic. That's right. And the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is a democracy. In a democracy, all of us play an important part. We we pass laws, and we obey them. If you went home after school, and the doors were closed, and your parents wouldn't let you inside ever again, could you still believe that they really loved you? No. Well, the king, from inside his palace, says he loves his people. Speed up.
Good evening, Eleni. Good evening, Katina. The government militia is arresting all the men who are communists. Spiro is my cousin, Eleni. I know that. I would hide him in my house, but that would be the first place they look for him in the morning. So I beg you. And if they find him here? They won't search your house. Your father's a monarchist. Your husband is in America. Everyone knows where your sympathies lie. My sympathies? I have no sympathies, as you call them. Then I seek refuge in the only neutral house in all of Greece. You'll have to stay in the cellar. I have grown daughters, you understand. I'm sorry you're in trouble, Spiro. But I do enjoy this sneaking around at night. It makes me feel young. Give me a kiss, cousin. I don't understand how you found out about me so quickly. I've only been here a little more than a week. Please, it'll only take a few minutes. Well, I know. It's a wonderful story. A boy from Greece goes to America, returns as bureau chief of the New York Times to write about his native land. It would make me personally happy if you would agree to appear with me on television. Well, in that case. Gentlemen! Thank <laughs> you. 
Probably dollars. There's no telling how many can fit into one envelope. My dear wife. My dearest daughter, and you, Nicola, my son whom I have not seen. was good, then it was bad, and soon I think it will be good again, and I will start looking for a house for us all. I have become a citizen of America. Imagine that. He's not Greek anymore? It says, I have become a citizen of America, I am no longer a foreigner, and I can now vote for the President of the United States and the Mayor of New York. Eleni, my beautiful and loving wife, Take good care of our children while I work and save money for our home. All of you live in my heart, and soon I hope to see and embrace and embrace each one of you. I kiss your eyes and those of my angel children. I, your loving husband, write this. How will I speak to Father when we go to America? What do you mean? I'm worried, Mama. He's been there a long time, and maybe he only speaks American. Maybe he forgot Greek. No, I wouldn't worry about that. I think we should go there soon, just in case. Why don't we surprise him? Hello, Father. Here we all are. <laughs> it's a long way, you know. It's across the ocean. You have to have an invitation. America's a country that, when you get there, they say, who invited you to come? Like to a wedding. But if he loves us, why doesn't he send us an invitation? Because he's saving all his money to build us a fine house with enough rooms for everybody. I know what the problem is. There's too many of us. You have too many children. No, I need all my children. But when we go to America, will Father call you my beautiful and loving wife? What, you mean like in the letter? Yes. Well, I hope so. Maybe you will only love him. And you won't love me anymore. No. always love you. Why?
Nick. Hey, Nick. Here it is. I never forget a funeral. He died of cancer a few months ago. Did you know him? Yeah, he was my school teacher, Luke Cole. Is this a coincidence or what? It's what a coincidence. All these dudes we're looking at were former Civil War criminals. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing an article on their return to Greece. Oh, yeah? I already did that story. It's been out for quite a while. I'm surprised you haven't read it. I did. Oh, yeah? What was wrong with it? Too general. Oh, yeah? Too general for whom? For me. Were you really born in Greece? Yes. That explains your sunny Mediterranean personality. This guy insists on talking to you, Nick. He says he saw you on TV. That's just great. The bureau chief of the New York Times is the TV personality in Athens. Hey, off, Sidney. Who is it? He says you grew up together. His name's Makos, Anthony Makos. Hello? We grew up in the same village. We used to have sword fights. Do you remember, Nicola? We saw our first aeroplane together. Now he's an American. Nicola! I thought we were going to talk about old times. These are old times, Anthony. I didn't know you'd seen my mother when I came here. I'm sorry I mentioned it. Go on, you, you said you were drinking water at the spring. She looked at me. You know, in that way. What way? You know what children meant to our mothers. They see a boy standing alone, and even if he's not theirs, they look at him in that, in that way. Well, that's how she... Nicola, you're an educated man. Why do you think our mothers loved us so much? I have children of my own, but I find it hard to... You have children. Did my mother say anything to you? No. Do you go to Leo often? Don't go back now. Went back once a few years ago. Spent the night in Yanina. I saw that man. What man? That gorilla. The one who led the prisoners to the execution site. Are you sure it was him? It really wasn't. So I started talking to him and he said, yes, he was stationed in our village. Do you know his name? Tassos. Tassos Levendis. He didn't remember me. Does he still live in Yanina? I don't know. When I saw him, he was in a bar, pimping, offering me women.
warning all the people in this area that we can no longer protect you. Communist guerrillas are advancing. Civil war has begun. Father, what should I do? You? What are you afraid of? You're a woman. It's me they'll kill first. And I'm for the king. Long live the king. Goodbye. Mother, well, do you think we should go to Yamano? Well, who'll look after your home? Your husband built your fine home. It's your duty to look after him. Yes, but my children. These aren't Germans. The Turks are Albanians. They're our own people. They won't harm women and children. Lucas? Lucas, are you staying? Yes. My wife has convinced me I'm too worthless for the communists to waste their valuable bullets on. If they kill me, at least it'll prove to her how wrong she is. It's finally come to this. We've been invaded by everybody. And now we're being invaded by ourselves. army of Greece. I have the honor to inform you that this village has been liberated and that your house has been chosen to be the general headquarters of the army of liberation. You'll be out of the house by tomorrow morning. But Spiro, don't you remember when Katina brought you here? I remember. Be out of the house by tomorrow, Americana. you were born here and so that makes it special. Memories make it special. 
we can take those wherever we go. Someday, we'll all be together like this, all packed and ready. And instead of moving to grandmother's house, we'll be leaving across the ocean where your father is waiting for us. It will feel just like this. We'll take our belongings and our memories and we'll leave this house forever. But we won't be sad because we'll all be together. That's what's important. We mustn't be sad tomorrow. Take him in there. The animals and food stay behind. Yes, I have a family to feed. I have an army to feed. Anyone hiding food will be shot. Those are our orders. I'll obey your orders. Mana, what do we eat? One thing more, Americana. All your able-bodied men have fled. I need soldiers. Each household will volunteer their eldest daughter to fight with the Army of Liberation. Olga, you will have the privilege of taking part in our great struggle. Spiro. Major Skid. I gave you my house. What food I have is yours. But Olga doesn't know anything about fighting. We will teach her. Please, I beg you. We will teach her. Give two more days to spend with her, then she's ours. Manash. We're at war. Those are orders. Anyone who disobeys will be dealt with accordingly. Is that understood? We will obey your orders. Mana! Mana! Don't let them take me away, Mana! What do you think I can do? to do this in the old days. The Ottoman Turks went from village to village gathering all the healthy young boys of their armies. So to save them, their mothers cut off their fingers or their hands. Sometimes they gouged out one of their eyes with a spoon. I won't be a cripple, will I, man? I'll never marry for a cripple! You're forgetting your place. Is this my place, mother? To torture my own child? Is it my place to stay behind? Always to stay behind when our men run off and return for what? Mana! No! I put in charge of food supply, so I... Oh, could you? They were going to take her. They? What? They? They would I'm have trying to, to save my These child. These are our right. own people. No, don't. My child. Yes, but 
not some animal to be hobbled. You should be ashamed. Get out. You take your own you. and your advice and you get out. Olga Gatsayanis is requested to join the People's Democratic Army of Greece. Major Skavis, please. My daughter is so clumsy. She spilled boiling water on her leg. She can hardly stand. Remove the bandages. daughter to be more careful, Americana. All unmarried girls over the age of 15 are privileged to be able to join the People's Democratic Army. Have your daughter, Glicheria, prepare to leave. And be careful, Americana, no more accidents. Tassos Lavendus. I hear that if you want a woman in Yanina, you're the man to see. I know some women, yes. Money's no object. I know a lot of women. Then let's get my car and take a drive. Ah, you have a car. Mr. Tan there. I want to go home first. I have to get some more money. Where is your home? A uh, little village called Leah. Leah? You're crazy. It's over 50 kilometers from here. You know the place? You've been there before? Hey, what's going on? Who the hell are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you unless you want to bounce. I saw that man. What man? A gorilla. The one who led the prisoners to the execution site. Are you sure it was him? So I started talking to him and he said, yes, he was stationed in our village. Do you know his name? Tassos. Tassos Leventis.
get out. I was not on the execution squad. I was just in charge of bringing the prisoners to the site. Your mother had a trial. The judge ordered that a confession be procured. The same judge sentenced her to death. It was all legal. She was tortured. Tortured too. It was legal. Who gave the order? The same judge who sentenced her. What was his name? We only knew him by his revolutionary name. Katis. I don't know his name! Where does he live? I don't know! I don't even know if he's alive! Where did he hide after the war? He went... Well, went to this camp in Czechoslovakia when we lost the war. Some of the people from your village went with us to hide. Where in Czechoslovakia? Bratislava! <laughs> it's too late! Even if you find him, you won't find him. You might find an old man who used to be Katis, just like you found an old pimp who used to be a soldier named Tasso Levendis! If you live long enough, it seems you cease to exist! You're too late! We're all dead! It's gone!
people you're looking for? Their relatives? Well, relatives and, and friends from my village. I, I've been told that they fled here after the Greek Civil War. Yes, we have many Greeks living here. Too many. First, we tried to keep their records in order, but as you can see, if you find any relatives, I hope you take them with you. Democratic Army of Greece. Mothers of Lear, your children are in danger. The fascist government's attacks on your village will continue. If your children are not killed by bombs or bullets, they will die slowly from starvation. What little food we have left has to be rationed out to our fighters. But because of the party's great concern and love for your children, our leaders have found a way to save them. We've called you all here today to announce that the people's democracies of Albania and Czechoslovakia have opened their arms to your children. They will take them, care for them, feed them well, and educate them to become lawyers, doctors, engineers, whatever their talents permit. And when the civil war is over and the red flag flies over all our country, they will come back to you. Tall, healthy, happy, ready to take that place in the new Greece. Who will be the first to volunteer her children? Who will be the first? We have our first patriotic mother. Cutting us, You wish to volunteer, Comrade Scavis? Yes. I would like to volunteer some advice to you, Mr. Comrade, in a blue suit. My husband died in the war, fighting for your cause. I carried on the dream, he whispered to me once in the night, of a better life for my children. My children, not yours, not the party's, 
not the people's democracies of Albania or anywhere. My. No mother will give up her children. There are no volunteers here. Mothers of Lear, you know your children are hungry. Your children can eat like this every day if you let them go. Any child who steps forward at this moment can have as much bread and marmalade as he or she can eat. Mama, I'm so hungry. Left the country, Albania. Dead. country, Soviet Union. She's still here. Not as pretty as she was in the picture. Dead. Left the country. Where? Doesn't say. Where? Doesn't say. Was he a friend or a relative? A friend of the family. Says here he had no identification on him. What was his full name? I just remember him by Catiz. He's probably dead. I'm going off duty. If you want, I can tell you where to find that woman. I'm looking for Anna Katrubas. Who are you? Nick, uh, Nicola Gatsayanis. Eleni's son? Yes. What do you want from me? You must know I... I didn't do it on purpose. I was forced to testify against your mother. You must know that. 
Yes, I... I knew that, and I didn't come here to blame you for anything. I did it to save my son. The judge. He told me I had to join the guerrillas to be a soldier. My baby would have died. There was nobody to look after him. So, I sinned against my soul to save my child. Well, I, I understand that you had no choice. The... The judge, what, what was his name? Stavros Petrakis. He called himself Katis at the time. The officials at the bureau told me that he had died a few years ago. They don't know anything. He's back in Greece. We're too ashamed to return, but he's not. Where in Greece is he? Where in Greece is he? Volunteers. We can only hope, pray. We must do more than hope, Mother. If we do as we're told, no. Mother, you've brought me up the best way you knew how. The way I was raised. Yes. To obey and to know my place and never to complain. And in all that sunshine of my life, I have lived in the shade of somebody else's authority. There were flowers in my heart, Mama. There are some flowers that never blossom in the shade. It was the price I paid to be like everyone else. I didn't complain, and I'm not complaining now. But I am saying no more. They took our food. They took my home. They took my dignity. And I gave it, I gave in at every turn. But I will not give them my children. They will not take them from me. Escape? Are you mad? With children? There are guards everywhere. Landmines. I've watched you. You know where the mines are planted. You know where the guards are. They've taken my glickery already. I can't just wait But because... if we get caught, they'll kill us. And if they take my children, it'll be worse than doesn't understand. He's a man. Suddenly I'm promoted. I'm a man. If I were fool enough to consider this, when were you planning? Tomorrow night. I'm getting a headache. There's no time to lose. They might come for the children at any moment. Everyone would respect you. Please, no respect. 
In Greece, only the dead are respected. Man, our soldiers are coming! Somebody betrayed us. We need a woman from your household for a work detail. Yes, I'll come. Not now. We are to round up everybody first. Bring extra clothing. You will be gone three to four weeks. No, I can't. We leave in an hour. That's an order. They only want a woman to work. They don't care who it is. I'll go in your place. They wouldn't take you, Mother. You're too old. Oh, why now? Why today? It's all right, Mana. We'll take care of everything while you're gone. And then when you come back... When I come back, you will be far away from here. You're all leaving tonight, just Not as we planned. Just as we planned. Now listen to me. We can't wait. Three or four weeks is a long time. They could come for a nickel or for a teeny any day. Olga, listen to me. You are the oldest. You must take my place. When you are safe, you must write to your father and tell him what has happened. He will find a way to send for you. He will do that. He loves you. Not like you, Mana. I'll be all right. It may be better this way. I can be close to Glikiria and help her to escape. And the two of us will join you in America. We will. Come quickly. Gather around me while we still have time. See you cry. My children, I bless you all.
sorry I haven't called or written. My dear John, my dear ch children, dear family, I am back in my grandmother's house. I took my last walk with my mother from here, out the door and up the hill. She held my hand and made me promise that I would never come back. We planned our escape here, and what should have been very obvious to me is only now becoming clear. Escape routes exist when you are a child. All kinds of escape routes are possible. Then when you grow up, they vanish, and you have to find a way to live without them. <laughs> anyway, I kiss your eyes and those of my darling children. Your husband sends these words. All the relatives of those who escaped have been locked up, except for Eleni Gatsianis. The American? Yes, sir. Is this the soldier who allowed them to escape? Their escape routes took them past his post. Yes. He stood on one of our mines. Knock him up. We don't give medical attention to traitors. Traitors? <laughs> he was wounded while in pursuit. Peasants and children. Do we have an army that can be outwitted by peasants and children? Because if we do, the word of this escape will inspire others in the territory we hold. He was a collaborator. He was bribed by the Americana and her dollars. He was wounded while trying to escape. Please, get me a signed confession to that effect. We're going to have a trial, Americana. And at that trial, in front of all the people, you're going to confess your crimes. What crimes? What have I done? You collaborated with the enemy. You transmitted vital military information with Lucas Zares. No. All I did was to help my children escape, that's all. Escape? This is a liberated village. What were they escaping from? Your village is loyal to our cause. I've sent reports to my superiors stating that loyalty. Yes. How am I going to explain this escape to my superiors? Hmm? I don't know. Look at... <laughs> Yes. 
Citizens of Lear! For some time now, there has been a fascist organization in existence in your own village. I am happy to inform you that thanks to the vigilance of our guerrilla intelligence, this organization has been uncovered. The criminals before you have endangered all our lives by passing on vital military information to the enemy with the 20 traitors who fled from Lear. All of you must abhor their treachery. There they are. Andreas Michopoulos. Spiridon Michopoulos. Vasily Niku. Alexo Gadzoyanis. Elias Gatos. The lady, Gatsoyanis. <coughs> the Americana. She was never one of you. How many of you had packages from America? While you starved, she feasted. While you worked, she plotted. Americana, you're charged with organizing the escape and trying to bribe the citizens of Lear and turn them against us with your American money. That's not true. I have done nothing wrong. I have done no harm, and I have wished no harm to anyone. All I wanted was for my children to be safe with their father. By refusing to send her children to socialist countries, she betrayed the goals of our revolution. By sending them to fascists, she betrayed us all. Who will speak in her defense? It is against the law to withhold information of guilt or innocence. So I ask you, if any of you have proof of the Americana's innocence or guilt, step forward now and speak. Have a witness. Comrade Katrovis. Yes, <laughs> I have something to say. She, Eleni Gatsoyanis. The Americana. She tried to bribe me with her American dollars to turn against you and join the fascist cause. Anna. You did, you did. You tried to bribe me. But I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. The peace. Children are leaving. Citizens of Lear! Our children are about to leave for Albania and Czechoslovakia. We will take a short pause in the proceedings of this trial in order to permit their parents to say goodbye.
citizens of Lear, the People's Court, having found the accused guilty of treason, is now ready to pass sentence. Andreas Michopoulos, death by firing squad. Vasily Niku, death by firing squad. Lenny Gatsoyanis, death by firing squad. Oh no.
Those are our last words? My children. I was hidden over there. I saw her. The judge, what was his name? Stavros Petrakis. He called himself Catisse at the time? The officials at the Bureau told me that he had died a few years ago. They don't know anything. <laughs> he's back in Greece. We're too ashamed to return and he's not. Where in Greece is he? Where in Greece is he? In the town of Saloniki. Yes? Can I help you? Um, I think I have the wrong address. I am looking for Stavros Petrakis. I'm his wife. Are you here about the pension? No, my name is Nick Gage, New York Times. I think I have an appointment with your husband. Appointment? He didn't say anything. Come in. You shouldn't open the door by yourself. I've told you that before. says that we, we, we've got an appointment of some kind. Uh, my name is Nick Gage, New York Times. New York Times? You didn't say New York Times. You just said New York. I'm doing an article about the evolution of the Greek judicial system from the Civil War till now, and the Minister of Justice in Athens suggests that I speak with you. Wait a minute. Oh, I remember. I saw you uh, on the television. Well, um, apparently there's been a little breakdown in communications. Uh, the minister was supposed to telephone you about this interview. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I can come back at a more convenient time. Oh, please. Uh, oh. All I have these days is convenience. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, it's perfect. Uh, please, sit down. Um, why don't you go and get our guests something to eat? Eh? Oh, yeah, New York Times. Uh, eh. Oh, look, uh, let me just go and... Uh, I, I was uh, taking a little nap. <laughs> uh, had I known. <laughs> I'll be right back, huh? Sit. Sit, sit.
the one. So, I'm all yours. Even orders that we should not be disturbed. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your cooperation. On the contrary, I'm very grateful to you. You've made me very happy. <laughs> oh, my wife and my daughter. Oh, they're sick of my stories of the Civil War. And you come all this way. New York Times, yet. Yeah. Oh, they're in there now, plotting how to deal with me when you leave. Please. Shall we start? Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Stavros Petrakis. Testing, one, two, three. Which side were you on in the Civil War? On the side of Greece, of course. It wasn't so much a war, you understand. It's, um, no, it was a, a battle of ideas. See, we Greeks have always clung to the notion that man's life is ruled by ideas. Huh? And the period in question, huh? It was an exhilarating time. <laughs> Wonderful bread. Homemade. Mm. You must try it. No, I'm not hungry. Oh, please, you must. It's fresh. The wheat comes from my village. You can't buy bread like this. Especially not in America. Please, Nick. No, 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 no. You were born in Greece. I shall call you Nicola, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. And um, your uh, your parents are in, in America. My my father is yes. And your mother? My mother remained in Greece. Although I've heard some wonderful things about America, some of our people chose to stay. Well, I, my mother didn't actually choose to stay. She had some legal problems during the Civil War. There was a trial, there were witnesses, there was a judge. What side was she on? She was on the civilian side. Were you ever involved in trials of civilians? <laughs> well, that's impossible. There are no civilians in the Civil War. Look, if you're trying to look for your mother, Maybe I could be of some assistance. You see, I've got some friends. My mother was executed, death by firing squad. Her name was Eleni Gatsoyanis. Some call her Americana. Do you remember her? Remember her? I don't understand. About 800 kilometers away from here, there's a little village called Leah. Do you remember that village? Leah? Leah? No. No, I, I... I don't think that I've ever been to a village by that name. Well, some names changed, but this village was called Leah. It's still called Leah. You, I believe, were called Catisse at that time? Catisse? No. No, I was never... still alive? How can you live knowing what you've done? I think you better leave. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about Eleni Gatsoyanis, my mother. I'm not interested in your mother. Sit down. Sit 
sit down. You don't deserve to die standing up. Sit down. Don't be afraid. My dear family, I'm sending you this tape instead of a letter. I'll be coming home soon. The hunt for my mother's killer is over. I did not inherit the necessary hate to end a human life. I am still mystified by the kind of love my mother felt for me and my sisters. The question of being worth it or not is no longer applicable. I accept it as something she gave me. I accept her love as my inheritance. I miss you, I, I love you. I miss and love my children. I only hope, and I hope with all my heart, that the kind of love I've discovered is not reserved for mothers alone. I want to feel it too. I have a need to feel it. To share the inheritance my mother left me with you and my children. I know that they are not just my children. I know that they are ours. I know I may be a little late in returning home to claim them, but I hope you can understand my need to say those words. My children.